Good people, I'm back again with another video, with another unboxing, with another review, with another high-end sneaker, with another video I haven't really seen much of, so I had to obviously do my own take, my own unboxing, review, on foot, all that good stuff. And just before I get into that video though people, please make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe as it does wonders for the channel. Um, obviously this stuff takes a lot of time. It's currently 2am and I'm recording so you know, hard work. It takes a lot of time, takes a lot of money, takes a lot of all that stuff. So the least you could do is please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, you know, promote the channel a little bit if you want. Follow the socials, all that good stuff. Yeah, so that was my always announcement before I start my videos. And so we're going to get into it real quick. I've got another pair of Christian Louboutins. Um, I've done a review of All Whites. I've done a review... No, sorry. I've done a review of All Black. Plain leather. I've done a plain. Or I've done the not plain one, so the spiked black pair. And now uh, this is the third pair I have, which is white, all white, amazing for the summer. Uh, spiked calf leather, whatever you want to call it. All that good stuff. So the box, as everyone knows, the simple Louboutin brown box, it's Christian Louboutin. Paris, I'm not gonna try to do the accent and all that. It's got you know, it's plain brown box, all the sides, whatever. Let's have a look at the label. So it's Louis Jr. Spikes Flat, material calf, color white, white 43. Then the label, cushion, le boot on, whatever, white leather, 650 pounds. Um, nine and in brackets 43 which is european size um nike's european size is a bit different so all those brands are a bit different i do understand with most high-end brands a 43 is a nine in you know the luxury sneakers whatever you want to call them so yeah the calf leather all white pair let's just get into it good material on the lid don't really need to talk about that but here we go as always, um, or most luxury sneakers, so for example, Balenciaga. I don't know if Balenciaga still do it. They used to do it when I was buying arenas um, and stuff like Valentino, prime example. Valentino always give spare laces. So that's just the white pair of laces. I'm not going to pull those out because if you get those out, it's a nightmare putting them back in. So it's just, you know, a white kind of cotton cloth. So it's Christian Le Boot on Paris and then it's got the, the little red bits. I like it man. It's it's just a bit, you know, presentation. All the other brands just have like a little band around it or whatever. This is a nice little a bag. Um you could probably reuse this bag for something else. Personally, I don't and I wouldn't, cause what's the point? Then we've got those nice clean white christian Louboutin paris dust bags um so there's two of those again in that cotton material are uh, very clean um i don't use dust bags especially these ones as they just you know those will get dirty i don't want to get them dirty to be honest um and i don't really use dust bags much um, i've used dust bags for other things just you know if I'm going somewhere, I just put a few bits and bobs in, you know, socks and stuff, nothing trainers wise, which is a bit weird. I don't know why, maybe I should. I just never thought of it or cared about it. So yeah, dust bags um, that won't get used. But it's always, 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 always good as most high-end brands, most luxury brands, they have, you know, a few accessories. So it's like, you are getting ripped off but we're not going to fully rip you off we're going to give you too much of things so these I actually haven't even taken out the box i don't think actually i've taken out the box once i haven't put them on foot or anything so i've taken one of them out of the box that's just the one shoe as always tissue paper I'm not really going to comment on that like other youtubers 
Yes. So the Christian Lagoons was actually packed quite tightly in there. Calf white. Poor cow. <laughs> that smooth white. And then it's got a, a neoprene type cover. And that shows the spikes. See, these are so clean. I'm scared of even wearing them. Like, these will be worn, like, twice. Because I'm so scared of them. Like, I'm scared. I don't know why I'm so scared, but I'm scared. You know, they're clean. Whatever. I normally, I'm always wearing white trainers so I can keep them clean. But just, you know, this pair, price, everything. Oh, it's just a bit mad. What do we have here? The Le Bouton Soul. That famous red soul. That's literally what Le Bouton's known for. Um, as you can see the light shines off it so when it's like a shiny the writing when the writing shiny you can tell that this is a legitimate pair as always made in italy um i believe some pairs say made in eu um i'm just gonna stick with what it says there made in italy then it's got stamped in christian le bouton then it's got that red sole so what's crazy is this is just a white pair of trainers with a red sole and some spikes and they cost nearly 700 pounds um white midsole um another reason i'm scared of this is you know white midsoles they get dirty quite quick so one thing is every time these are worn they'll have to get the scrub down whatever so they'll have to get you know cleaned because just to make sure that they don't get amazingly dirty because that's not what we want um nice clean leather that's actually slightly different i think that's still a leather on the back yeah so nice clean white calf leather very smooth leather and then the white laces they are done um on over over under so they go over first i like mine to go under first and then over um so i will have to undo these just because i hate the way the laces are on the top so it'll be just awkward uh, i'm not a fan of that so i have to just undo the whole thing and then redo it all up the white spikes nothing much to say about those to be honest just white spikes then a nice clean on this side it's got the two kind of you know air holes whatever you want to call them then inside christian the boot on let me just take this out so you can see the rest Christian Louboutin and then down there it says Paris and then inside what do we have we always have size so it says 43 which corresponds to size on the box and what they are so you're aware 43 UK 9 um, sizing um, I've gone true to like my Air Force 1 size I wear a 9 in Louboutin um, nine and a half in some other sneakers, ten in some sneakers, ten and a half in some sneakers. So don't really trust me. Um, I would just recommend just trying them on somewhere. Um, there's a wide range of stores which you can try them on. You could also go to the actual store if you have that near you, or make some time to go there if you really want to buy a pair because they are quite expensive. So you know, you would kind of have to do that. Um, or if they offer free returns, Le boot on, then you can also return it or buy it and return it from them. Personally, I would recommend trying it. I'm just making sure that you like the way they fit. Some people may not like the way they fit. So just, you know, don't force yourself. Don't buy them if you don't want to. It is quite an expensive sneaker trainer. Sneaker trainer. Trainer sneaker. I should just remix that word so then the Americans and the British know what I'm talking about. But yeah. So, yeah, quite expensive um, for the price. Obviously, it is a Louboutin. So you are paying for what you get essentially at the end of the day but it is quite expensive so try them on um i had something else to say about these but i forgot but yeah i really don't know what to wear these with um i kind of do have outfits that i sometimes wear with like white air forces and stuff but these are you know a bit more special so the outfit has to be a bit more wow um i haven't got to that stage yet so i don't know 
but we'll see how I wear them. Um, I might just post some pictures of how I wear them or style them. Uh, when I wear them slash style them. And then we'll see. But yeah, I don't really have too much more to say about these. Just because they are just kind of a plain white. And when it's a, a plain white or a triple white or a triple black. Then there's not always much to say. Um, sometimes there's a lot to say. But obviously in this instance there isn't. But yeah, so I'd like to just ask everyone to please like, comment, share, subscribe, um, stay commenting um, because, you know, start a conversation or something. Tell me if you like these, tell me if you got these, tell me what you think. And yeah, people, um, normally I'd slam them down. I'm definitely not going to do that. Um, normally I wouldn't care, actually, but I'm not going to do that with these. So just cover it nicely. And then place it in the box. I'll just place it there for now. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you stay active, stay supporting the channel and keep watching the videos and all that good, good stuff. And as always, the most important thing, take care people.